gentlemen, ladies, this is a 316 or A240 stainless steel atmospheric storage tank. It has a very large center column that they're using also as a stilling well. It has a floating suction line. It has several draw offs, one of which that goes to the center column slash stealing well. It also has some recirculation lines. The sump, it's kind of interesting, the sump is buried or hidden or centrally located within the center column slash stealing well. You see that it's slotted, so as a result, it drains to there. It's all stainless steel, internal piping, all that stuff. It's not very old. It's barely two years, in fact. And they've taken it out of service to take the sludge out. It was in excess of six feet. That's almost two meters for you metric people. And in uncovering the sludge, and exposing the floor, they were seeing corrosion. And of course, that's where I come in. I've numbered the floor plates to make my report real easy. There's 50 floor plates, sketch plates and all. You see right around here for the supports where the sludge was collecting, the corrosion is quite a bit heavier. That discoloration you're seeing is actually the top surface of the stainless corroded off. And basically, the corrosion is isolated to heat affected zones or areas where clips have been welded to the floor. Here's one over here where there was a temporary attachment to the floor and as a result there's 15 to 25 in some places 30 and 35 uh, corrosion a lot of this you're seeing on the floor is actually staining but some of it's actually corrosion I'll bring you over to one that's a little heavier than the others here's a good example you see nice shiny stainless steel and then right along the weld looks like we're put someone put a grinder to it there's corrosion from 15 to 40 mils like I say when I backlight it it doesn't look bad but when I do that side profile that I'm always telling you guys about you, you can see it quite a bit better quite a bit better like I say two years old 40 mils of corrosion the shell is showing a similar situation but not near as deep I think it's because it being the shell it's not the sludge isn't sitting on top of it collecting and corroding so kind of an unusual tank thought you guys might be interested in looking at it it's not every day you get to see a stainless steel tank this size it's 60 feet so 60 foot diameter nominal and 32 feet tall seven courses so a series of four and five foot tall courses this particular tank is all 316 or A240. I think it's important to use the SA number for material. It tells us more. Like I say, you see these isolated spots of corrosion where the, where the, the body of the floor is in wonderful shape. It's just right there where the welds are at. Anyway, I'm in here mapping out the corrosion. Going to make a repair plan. 
thought I'd bring you guys along. It might be interesting to see. Or I just might be making a video for myself. <laughs> I never can tell about what you guys are interested in seeing. It does have roof rafters on the inside. Duration for you know, a product tank like this. The bar is on the outside, but they didn't. Talk to you guys later. Bye.